I understand that in response to this interview you've done with The New Yorker, uh, you have now received a cease and desist letter from the Trump Organization's <laughs> chief legal officer um, demanding, among other things, that you return all the royalty payments that you received from the book uh, retroactively going back to when you wrote it many years ago. Um, is that true and, and are you worried? It is true. I think Jane Mayer is uh, maybe just uh, putting up a uh, a story about that on the New Yorker website. But yes, it is true. I got almost immediately that cease and desist letter delivered to me, you know, by FedEx. And, uh, you know, it's, it's nuts and completely indicative of who he is. There's no basis in anything legal. I suspect that Donald Trump called up his chief legal person and said, go after that guy and do whatever you have to do. So this poor head of legal affairs for the Trump Organization had to concoct some facocta stuff about uh, most of which is or, or untrue. So, for example, this notion that I didn't write the book is so preposterous. You know, I am not, I am not certain that Donald Trump read every word, but I'm sure certain that I wrote every word. And he made a few red marks in the manuscript and sent it back to me, and the rest was history. The idea that he would dispute that is part of why I felt I had to come forward. The notion that if he could lie about that, Rachel, he could lie about anything.